CI-CD pipelines in GitLab used to consist of multiple stages and each stage would contain multiple jobs. With the new GitLab 14.2 release, you can omit stages completely and define the dependencies between jobs directly. This new way of defining pipelines gives you more flexibility and can improve the overall performance of your pipelines if done correctly. Hi, my name is Bernard, I'm a software engineer working in Vienna and in this video I will introduce you to the stageless future of CI-CD pipelines in GitLab. Let's get started. We start by creating a new blank project on gitlab.com. I will name mine stageless pipelines. We will not need a readme and click create project. So now in this new project GitLab will automatically suggest to us to set up a CI CD pipeline. So we will do just that. And this will lead us to an assistant where a .gitlab ci.yml file will automatically be created based on a template. We will remove this uh, sidebar and have a look at the file that is created by GitLab. We will remove the comments in the beginning and have a look at the current content. There are currently three stages defined and a total of four jobs that are distributed through the three stages. We have build, test and deploy stages and a build job, a unit test job, a lint test job and a deploy test job. And for each job we have defined in which stage the job is supposed to run. We can launch this example uh, pipeline by just entering a commit message, let's, let's say traditional approach with status and by pressing commit changes the GitLab CI YML file is checked in and the pipeline is automatically started. We can view the pipeline by clicking at the view pipeline button and we can see that the pipeline actually consists of the three stages defined in the config file and we can see that the first job build job uh, has just finished we are now in the test stage and the two jobs of the test stage are now being executed. This will take a while, but as you can see, the lint test job has already finished, unit test job as well. And now we can wait a few seconds for the deploy job. This is now also complete. And this is how the old world worked with stages and jobs inside those stages. But I want to show you now how this will look like without stages. So we go back to the editor and first of all we will remove all of the stages in the config file. Now uh, at this point in time we still have the stages defined in the jobs so we need to remove that as well. So for each job remove the stage keyword and now we will replace this with the needs keyword. This is the new world way of defining the dependencies because we still want our unit test job to just run after the build job is complete. So we will write this for both the unit test and the lint test job. And for the deploy job now, this depends on both the unit test and the lint test job. So we will just specify those two tests with a comma separated in the needs block as well. Now the build job is a transitive dependency of the deploy job because uh, both the unit test and the lint test uh, job will require that. We commit the changes, uh, just name them remove stages and commit the config file. As you can see the uh, GitLab CI configuration is valid and the new pipeline has been launched. We will view that as well. And as you can see now in the uh, old world way of life we just have one stage with a couple of jobs but in the new world way of life uh, we can see that the jobs have dependencies and this now looks very similar to the situation we had before we have the two jobs in the middle and the build job and the deploy job on the left and on the right but there are no explicit stages now in this view the jobs are just connected with uh, dependency arrows so this is just converting the pipeline uh, from one syntax to another syntax. Actually nothing really has changed. So for the next step in this short tutorial, I want to show you what now the actual advantages of using this new format. And I will show you that by adding a new job that only depends on the output of the linting job. 
So to do that, we will add a new job block. And in this job block, we will uh, name this job post lint job. And we want it to depend only on the uh, linting job to finish and not on the unit test one. This would not be possible in the old way of life where we would just uh, put this new job in a specific stage because if we would put it in the same stage as the unit test job and the linting job then it would not depend on the linting job and if we would create a new stage well then it would uh, depend on both the unit test and the post linting job uh, on the linting job so that's not really what we want here uh, we commit and view the pipeline and when we click show dependencies as expected this new post lint job only depends on the lint test job and not on the unit test job and as you can imagine if the lint test job is quicker than the unit test job then the post lint job actually can run uh, faster because it does not need to wait for the unit test job. In summary, in this video you have learned why specifying job dependencies directly can both improve the performance of your pipeline and make your configuration file easier to read. I hope this video was useful, please let me know if you have any questions and see you in the next video. Bye bye!